assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am odo technical developer in the previous video we have added copy method to re-implement uh, the logic of the copy method in order to make it compatible with the uniqueness constraint in this video we are going to talk about how to debug uh, code inside py charm so what uh, we have made a slight change in this um, copy method so first of all you will have to guess what change i have made so after uh, make after the change uh, when i uh, restarted the service and uh, when i click on the duplicate button i got an error message what the error says that non type object does not support item assignment so um, many of uh, you will understand uh, what the error is and uh, here it says that on line 24 inside the copy method uh, this line uh, have some problem so let me just check what the problem is so this line is just fine and uh, um, in this is just a, a simple code but in case of complex code uh, it uh, is difficult for someone to understand uh, what the issue is and what uh, uh, things is causing this problem so here um, pycharm has uh, the feature to debug the code line by line in order to understand uh, what uh, the method is doing so oh, what you will have to do you will have to uh, first of all stop the uh, execution and then click this debug uh, icon to debug start the debugging and here uh, the debugging will start and uh, uh, you will have to add the end points from where you want to start the debugging i want to start the debugging from the start of the method so let me just uh, click uh, add the end point here and then go here uh, and click the duplicate button to call the method so whenever the method is called uh, the execution will stop at the uh, end point that we have added so we can see it has added on the copied count so these are the few options that are available in uh, case of debugging this will uh, step out to the next line the execution will go to the next line this will uh, but uh, in case of this uh, if there is any other method called from the libraries then uh, it will go inside the libraries also but uh, this option will just keep you inside your code so uh, i will use uh, this option just to uh, debug the code in detail and here we have two options debugger and uh, the console debugger shows that uh, in which file the uh, currently execution is and console on the console you can see the logs and you can also check uh, the variable values and uh, execute the python code manually so let me just uh, click here to step out to the next line so we can see it uh, step out to the next line and uh, it will execute to time because it uh, is a search method so a search uh, copied count return uh, a value of two so i can just check it here on the console also now uh, see so you copied count if i print it here i can see uh, it has two values so this condition will uh, it will not go inside the if statement but it will uh, go inside the else statement body so let me just uh, check here also uh the new name so we can see that new in name is not defined so this uh line has not yet executed so let me just step over to the next line so we can see this is it skip the body of the if statement but it uh go inside the else one so let me just go to the next line and here I'll, i want to print the name new name so we can see copy of odo 13 technical course and the copied count has been added at the end of the technical course so this way you can uh, you can um, understand and study the code that what it is doing at each step so here on this line 
on line 24 we have the, uh, the issue that is generating an error message so what the issue is, is uh, first of all uh, let me just show you the logs uh, that what the issue is non-type object does not have support so this means that default is a non-type and you cannot assign any value to a non-type variable so let me just check what is inside the default so let me just uh, print it here so we can see nothing is inside the non and uh, nothing is inside the default so this means that we in the default variable is not defined properly and its value is none so we cannot uh, assign any value to it so as we have uh, as we have uh, commented this line so uh, and by default the default value is none so we have to make it a dictionary in order to uh, assign the course name to it so what we can do let me just uh, for checking purposes uh, let me just run this code in order to make the default as a dictionary so and then print the default again so we can see the default is now a dictionary let me just uh, print the type also what the type of our default is we can see it is a dictionary so here if i run this code again it will work fine because it uh, the uh, the default is you no know, set as a dictionary so let me just this will run the all the code uh, until the next execution the next endpoint so let me run the code uh, using this option uh, so let me check the console and go to Udo so we can see the uh, um, record has been copied so this way you can uh, check and debug the code line by line so you can uh, use multiple endpoints also uh, and you don't need to restart the service uh, while adding the endpoint so if you uh, face any issue while debugging the code so we have a discord group uh, where you can share your questions and ask your questions for help uh, the link of the discord group is in uh, on in the description of this video so go and check out the group and join the group also so please if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel uh, thank you guys for watching this video.